we produced a guide track both for the um, video recording and also for the instrumentalists and singers to record their parts separately. And so these guide tracks were either official tracks from multitracks.com edited for the arrangement that we were doing, um, or in some cases they were built from scratch. Um, but they all had a click track um, and also a cue track which called out the different parts of the song that were coming up. Um, and you can download the cue samples for free from multitracks.com, which is great. Um, so we built these tracks in Ableton and then we sent them out to the team so that they could uh, rehearse and prepare and then they could record their instruments or voices um, separately and we all knew that would be on the same arrangement. And then when it came to filming the video, um, we played the track in the background so that as a band um, we knew what we were meant to be playing um, and also the video guys um, could hear what instruments were kind of in focus at different points in the track. So now we've got our audio recorded and our arrangement sorted, we move on to the filming aspect of this project. So we've used a lot of the Kerry spaces over the last uh, 18 months or so, so we really felt like we had exhausted those locations and we really wanted it to look fresh and look new. Uh, so we reached out to some friends nearby at Warfield Church who kindly lent us their building to film in. Uh, it was an amazing space, we had it for two evenings and we were able to take over the whole place. So we had a lighting package come in, we had some uh, multiple floods for the ceiling, we had uplights on the pillars and uh, we had two cameras, one on our Ronin system which is like our stabilising system and we had the other on our track. Our track is about six metres long um, and so it can give us a smooth panning shot across the floor. We then did each of the songs three times, so we did three takes both filming every take on two cameras, which resulted in us having six individual camera shots for uh, every song. Uh, once we'd captured all that, it moved on to the editing phase. So you've seen how the carols were filmed and now it's time to edit them. So as you just saw we filmed each carol three times with two different cameras. That essentially gives us six shots to work from to edit this carol. So the first step uh, is to organise all of our media into the correct song, the correct uh, take and the correct camera. From there um, we use the sync point that were built into the tracks that Dave spoke about earlier to sync all of these clips up to the same point. What this means is we can bring it into what's called a multicam, and a multicam allows us to play all of these different clips simultaneously at the same time. And we can then start to see a really good picture of what we captured while filming these carols. From that point, um, what we do is we live cut these um, carols. So if you've ever seen a behind the scenes of a TV show or a live concert, you'll see someone sat with a vision mixer. And what they're doing is they're choosing which camera they want to go on the screen at what point. And we're doing the exact same thing. So we're, we're clicking play, we're listening through the carol, we're watching our multicam and we're saying at this point I want to see that, at this point I want to see that. And we're cutting as we go along. Now once we've done that we can go back and refine it. If there's a shot that we think needs to be a bit longer we can go and change that. If we think it needs to be zoomed in a bit and the position needs to be changed we can do that as well. So we've got complete flexibility. So then we move on to the colour grading. Now what colour grading is, is when you capture this footage it comes out and almost looks a bit boring. It's without colour, it's without contrast, it's without much depth to the image. Now this is to give us maximum flexibility when editing at the end. It means we can pull out all of the colour that we want to, um, we can get loads of contrast in there and get it looking really good. So what we do is we first balance the clips and make sure everything's sitting in the right place and then we can start to build how we really want these to look and start to really create something really nice and special from these carols.